Now that tenors were expected to hit the high C using the chest or natural voice, a problem emerged. And this is something that tenors have to deal with on a daily basis. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the tenor range spans two octaves normally, from C to C. Some singers can sing lower, some can sing higher, but basically that's it. Now, if I start to sing from the low C, as I get towards the middle, my voice runs out. Now, what happens here is something, it's a natural phenomenon, and it creates the need for some kind of manipulation. Um, we need to create a bridge from the lower voice through the middle voice through to the high voice. And this is called a passaggio, or a passage, or a bridge, or some. You get the idea. And the manipulation that takes place is the voice is made slightly smaller so that then you can go up now I'm not an expert in this obviously but you could hear how going small around E or F the upper middle all of a sudden then there's room to expand into the top register now without this knowledge without the mastery of this you cannot have a major operatic career Everyone from Caruso to Mario Lanza to Pavarotti to Jonas Kaufmann all were and are masters of the passaggio. So if you want to be a tenor, it's something you simply have to learn. When you think of singing a song, it'll have high moments, it'll have middle moments and those lower notes as well. And when we get into the upper parts where the money is made, uh, then, then it goes up into the head and we negotiate through the chest and into the head, through the passaggio, into and then you do really feel the buzz that's in there. Let's do the scale. That's where the, now, now we're dealing with passaggio because the, the, there are other muscles then start to kick in. The muscles that deal with the voice and the larynx and everything else when it's in that lower position, in the lower registers. And then we have to deal with this thing that every singer deals with, the passaggio, is how you get through that it's bridge. Like a bridge, a bridge. It's a bridge. It's, a, there's a, it's like a frontier, in a way, a, a muscular frontier. And you've got to get through it. Ah, it felt that? OK, actually. Yeah, for me, it's around E flat and E natural. Ah, after that, you go into another field, and it changes again. That's how passaggio works in principle. The whole art for the tenor is to manage to cross the frontier without the audience being aware he's done so. Here's Jonas Kaufmann negotiating the passaggio in a performance of Andrea Chenier, seamlessly. <laughs> Right now, we're in the middle of performances of Andrea yeah. Chenier. And in your first aria, there's, I think, a classic example of going through the passaggio. And you go, non conoscete amor, which is an F, which is right in the passaggio. And then you go to a high B flat, where you need lots of yeah. room. Non conoscete amor. Well, F is, 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 for me, it's actually the note where I, I'm indecisive, let's say, whether it, is, it belongs to the upper or to the lower region. And um, there's one, one note in, in second act, uh, Sia soldato, 
and I'm never sure in every performance I do it differently because also depending on the form of the day, it just comes differently. And, uh, but I think the more you think about it, the more difficult it becomes. One of the holy grails of singing is how do you diminuendo, how do you get softer on the tone that is loud to begin with? Yeah. Now you have an amazing ability to do that. Can you show us well, one? I can try. And you can try. <laughs> oh. How do you do that? <laughs> how do you do that? No, seriously, how do you do that? The larynx is low. The tongue is, the whole mouth, everything is relaxed. You it's did it always perfect, you went, so it goes through F, again, similar to Chenier. Trono vicino al sol. vicino al Back and forth. It's, it's the same thing. The technical aspect of it is, is, is absolutely mind-boggling because usually it's only one or two people in the world and, you know, at a time uh, could, could do that, but you can do it. The basic techniques are common to all tenors, but within the category we call the tenor lies a whole spectrum of different colors ranging from the dark...